Welcome back to another episode of the EROS podcast. My name is Craig Bond. I am the owner of Elite Results Marketing and now a proud coach at Elite Results Mastery. And on this podcast, we're going to be going over the situation that is digital marketing and local business. So I am both a local business owner and a digital marketing agency owner, and our digital marketing agency supports local businesses, and I am sick and fucking tired of what's going on in the marketplace. Uh, if you haven't watched the first episode, I do a pretty in-depth explanation of why I'm doing this podcast and what my ultimate objective and goal is. Today, I want to talk about the fact that I have announced that I am the anti-guru. What does that mean? Well, looking around at the situation that is the relationship between digital marketing agency owners who serve local businesses and local business owners, there are two sides to that fence. On one side of the fence, we have the digital marketing agencies that, quite frankly, there's a bunch of them not doing a good job. This may be you. You may be running a digital marketing agency and you churn customers left and right, and you're not really sure what to do. You don't know how to build the right team, systems, process, etc. And I'm not placing that blame at your feet. I'm actually placing it at the guru's feet, and I'll explain that here in a second. Then the other side of the fence, we have the local business owners that are desperate to get help marketing their companies, and they come to you and they get your help. And some of those are fantastic, and they just need some help. They need help showing their business to the world, showing what products, services, et cetera, that they offer in order to grow their business. That's all they need. They're good at what they do. They have good teams and systems and processes to grow, and they just need a nudge in the right direction. You can't outsell the number of people that are aware of who you are and what you offer, and that's what they're looking for from a digital marketing agency perspective. My first and best customer went from $600,000 in a year to over $3.5 million. They're probably on pace to do three and a half to four this year. And the reason for that is not because I'm somebody who's magical and our company is so great. We did the basics, right? We did search engine optimization for him. We've optimized his website for conversions. We helped him get more visibility, become more attractive, get more reviews, spread his message further and wider so that more people are aware of what he offers. And then he handles his business really well. He's been very smart about how he hires, the teams he's produced, the products he offers, etc., and has allowed him to grow his business significantly. In this past year, he was able to retire his wife after many years of being a teacher. That was an amazing accomplishment. Obviously, the revenue has gone up. They've provided a lot more job opportunities. And this is what I want to see for all local businesses, not just his. We've done that with other businesses as well. I just I love that example because he's my longest standing customer. The problem is we have gurus who are making their money by they go out and they started their own agency. They do what I would consider to be shady things by making these ridiculous offers. And I've got a book back there on my bookshelf by Alex Ramosi that has kind of perpetuated this problem, but I'm not putting the fault or blame on him. And it's around creation of offers. And you want to create an offer that's so good that people feel stupid saying no. And yet people have taken that as a license to, quite frankly, make unrealistic offers. So they go out and make these unrealistic offers. They beat these customers into coming in. They get these Stripe accounts that show exorbitant amounts of money coming in. So they're like, I'm doing $3 million a year whatever, they, they get a, a run rate on the Stripe account that they can then take and show to upcoming digital marketing agency owners and indicate to them some level of success, right? They, they paint this picture, this image that they're doing something great. And what you don't see on the back end is the churn. My previous business partner actually sat right next to one of these people and watched him grow in this way where he he worked, I'm not going to announce his niche, but he worked with local businesses. He grew his company really fast. What people don't know is that that company has built an incredibly bad reputation in that industry. 
In fact, I know the person that bought that company from him <coughs> and they had to completely, excuse me, had to completely change the branding of the company because that name is just tarnished because of that churn and burn cycle that was there. Again, he leveraged it to a point that he had Stripe account images that he could show. And then he turned around and started teaching digital marketing agency owners. And the only thing he's teaching is how to make these ridiculous offers, which generates revenue, but the systems on the back end, not great. And so what ends up happening is you have these people that are going out there and they run these churn and burn tactics until they have a Stripe account to provide some kind of social proof for themselves. And then they start an, uh, a coaching program and they get rid of their agency. They're looking to exit their agency as soon as possible because it's a living nightmare in hell. Their name is being drugged through the mud and they go to this coaching position. And then they start recycling and telling people how to do this same bullshit. And what's worse is they actually have some skin in the game. They want you to also increase your revenue as quickly as possible. And so they teach you these same churn and burn tactics that help you increase in revenue. And the reason for that is this then perpetuates them having an endless supply of people who they pump up. They're like, this guy came in and he went from zero and he's doing $22,000 a month or $55,000 a month in just six months. Well, that is now the case study and testimonial to sell the next batch of idiots coming out of their day job or out of school or whatever, they want to start a digital marketing agency, they buy into that. What they don't realize is that most of these people are miserable. Most of these people don't run their digital marketing agencies for very long because they're being set up the wrong fucking way. They get themselves into this perpetual hell and they're not even willing to talk about it. This is part of the reason I'm doing the podcast. They're not even willing to talk about it because them being touted by this God in the digital marketing agency space, showing them off. Look, he went from zero to $66,000 a month. Well, there's an ego thing that gets involved there. We're at that point being pushed into the limelight and everybody being like, oh, how'd you do it? You're doing so great. They don't want to voice that actually they hate their life. They hate the way their agency is structured. They hate the amount of churn that's going on. They hate the constant conversations with the local businesses that they serve because those people are unhappy. This is what I'm looking to put an end to. This is what I'm looking to solve. This is why I have dubbed myself the anti-guru of the digital marketing space. I don't want to teach you turn and burn tactics. I want to teach you how to build a living, breathing, thriving agency that takes the right customers, does really well at fulfillment, and helps these local businesses grow. Again, there are two sides of the fence. There are local businesses out there that they also don't know what they're doing. They also don't understand that there's a difference between marketing and sales, and they don't understand their responsibility. I'm looking to correct that as well, and then pair these two together. The local business owner that knows what the hell they're doing, have good customer service, they have good products, good services. They just need a push in the right direction. They need to be shown to more people, make expose more people to their products and services and pair them with a digital marketing agency that knows how to go do that at the highest level, who has good teams, systems, and processes that can fulfill that work day in and day out and create long-term partnerships so that both have better lives, bring more abundance into both their lives. So that the local business owner grows and scales, provides more job opportunities, provides more of their service products to their communities, to serve their communities. For the digital marketing agency owner, again, providing opportunities for, for growth, to hire, to provide balance within their life, to provide stability. Building these companies are not super complicated. You just have to know the right components. And I'm uniquely, I'm uniquely positioned to offer some of that information. I have come up in this space. I have worked with these gurus. I have had them tell me to do these same bullshit tactics and it never sat well with me because I came from a corporate background. Whenever I left high school, I had no real job prospects um, and I lost a full ride 
to college. I was working long hours at my job. I had moved out of my house early. I had rent to pay. I had bills for my car, gas, food, etc. And so I got kicked off the team that would have facilitated me having an opportunity to two colleges, actually, and I lost both of them. When I left, I went immediately into the job force and I spent about a year and a half digging ditches at a landscaping crew. After which I, by fate alone, managed to get a job with Walmart. I got hired into their home office division in a technical position. It was actually a low level role, if I'm being honest, just doing um, data entry in the evenings. So I worked night shift and I did data entry. But because of my insatiable desire to learn and my desire to grow, I ended up, my headphones died, I ended up um, growing and scaling within that company quite well. Uh, I was hitting every six months, I was getting a raise and I moved teams. And by the time I left, I was a data, or sorry, a senior systems engineer on the mainframe after moving to uh, the networking team and then the main mainframe uh, team, learned a lot there, made friends with the director over the mainframe and then became a CICS, like I said, senior systems operator before I left. What this uniquely gave me was seeing large teams working together, seeing systems and processes. And I developed a lot of business acumen. And so when I stepped out on my own and I started digital marketing, despite the fact that I had a lot of engagement with these gurus that were teaching tactics, right? That's mostly what they teach you is tactics. The ones that were not good or right or perpetuate these problems that we're trying to fix, I identified and I just wasn't willing to do it. That was frustrating because I looked around and I didn't realize at the time that these people that were going from zero to $66,000 a month or whatever number, you know, right in. Um, what they're touting right now. This made me frustrated because I'm like, I'm not stupid. Why are they able to accomplish what they are? And over time, I have found that it is because it's it's fluffy bullshit. They're, they're making that in revenue, but their profitability is not good. They hate their lives. This is why there's a lot of companies that are a lot of digital marketing agency owners that if you sit them in a corner and they're willing to talk about it, like they've got some addictions, they've got anxiety and depression and not good, not good lives, right? Again, this may be you. And if it is you, I'm here to help. And so what Elite Results Mastery ultimately is here to accomplish or do is to provide better resources. I don't want to teach you tactics. I don't want to hand over my SOPs. I don't want to teach you how to build an offer that's ridiculous. I want to show you how to genuinely seduce and attract customers they already want and need what you have. Local businesses already want and need what you have, right? They need someone to do their marketing. They shouldn't be focused on it, especially smaller ones doing less than a couple million dollars a year. You get up 10 plus, they probably should build an in-house marketing team, right? And we're going to help facilitate providing uh, training for those companies as well down the road because I think that it is best that a lot of them build in-house marketing teams so that they get the proper focus and attention on their marketing that they need. But for the ones that are sub $10 million a year, they're probably looking at needing to outsource it to an agency like yours. And so if you can just show up, honestly, the bar is so low that if you can come in and you can treat people right and you have good communication and you have a good team, good systems and processes, and you truly understand your craft in entirely, not just a weekend warrior course taker. You can stay up on the trends. What's changing in marketing. It's highly competitive industry. You will blow past these other agencies. And while your growth may be slower, you may not go zero to $66,000 a month. Your profitability will be stable. Your churn will be incredibly low because you're going to be careful to choose customers that you can actually fulfill properly on. So this is what was sitting on my heart today, and this is what I have identified the problem. And so as your anti-guru, I want to invite you that in the near future, and, and even if you're watching this 
year or two years later, we're probably doing something similar. So reach out to me anyway. I want you to send me a message, shoot me a DM. I would love to share with you that we are putting together a fact map experience because ironically, the most key component to this whole thing is not the tactics. It's not the team. It's not the marketing strategies. It's actually you and how you operate. And until we can get you clear on how you're going to operate so that you can become the person that can operate a company that does a million dollars a year as a digital marketing agency owner and do it the right way where there's balance, where you don't have high churn, where there's profitability, where there's security, and you can operate from a place of abundance instead of scarcity. We're putting on an experience where we're going to help you map out where that deficit is, where you are at right now, what skill sets you need. So you can understand this person up here is different than who you are right now, right? This person up here thinks different, dresses different, talks different, hangs out with different people, makes different decisions. That's why they're able to operate a million dollar company. If that's you and that's what you want, I want you to shoot me a DM, find me on social media, Craig Bond, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, whatever floats your boat, shoot me a DM and wherever you are right now, we'll find when that next experience is, where we can show you how to map this. I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. This is the same training that I received early in my agency experience that allowed me to navigate around and away from a lot of the guru stuff. The majority of what we are going to share with you is not copy paste tactics. I, I don't want to give you an email template to a thousand people that all send out the same shit. I want to teach you the mechanics of the underlying why these email templates work or these systems and process work so you can build them and adapt them to you and your unique skill set so you can leverage what makes you you, what makes you and your team you gives you an advantage as opposed to just being noise, right? I've seen so many of the same messages on Facebook DMing me, hey, would you like leads? Would you like leads? Same messages. These are all the bullshit things that these gurus give you. And I don't want you to just be another, another voice drowned out by the noise of the same bullshit. I want to teach you how to use what's uniquely you I want to teach you how to become the person you need to be in order to operate this company that we're talking about. The one that can truly serve these local businesses at the highest level. And again, the bar is so low. I feel confident that we can, in short order, move you outside of that noise so you can be seen and you can grow your company. So that is all I have. Again, this is The Problem. I am Craig Bond, the Anti-Guru. Shoot me a DM if you're interested in that. And if you run a local-based business and you need help with your digital marketing, I don't help every industry, but I would be glad to point you in the direction of some marketing companies that I do trust, that I feel confident will help you show more people the products and services that you offer so that you can grow and do what you're good at. It. Thanks for being here. I will catch you in the next episode. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.